Hi, I'm Dana Ceccarelli, Technical Support Manager at Vermont Photo Inkjet. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use our refillable cartridges for the Epson R3000 printer. This is an Epson cartridge, which contains about 25 milliliters of ink and is designed to be nearly impossible to refill. So when this cartridge is empty, you need to throw it away. This is our refillable cartridge for the R3000. It contains about 20% more ink than an Epson cartridge and is designed to be easily filled and refilled many times. Currently in our R3000 printer, we have a set of refillable cartridges that are filled with Pisography K7 ink, which has six shades of light black, a photo black, a matte black, and a gloss over print. Here we have a set of cartridges that are filled with our piezo flush solution, which I use to flush the color ink from the printer before installing piezography. And here is a set of cartridges that I filled with our Ink Thrift dye ink, which I'll be installing later today. Before you begin, you want to make sure that your workspace is ready with an empty cartridge, the matching ink bottle, syringe with blunt tip needle, and just in case of a spill, um, Windex works great, and paper towels. Very important, make sure that you read the instructions that come with the cartridges, because there's a lot of important information in there. Now I'm going to fill a brand new light cyan position cartridge with Cone Color Pro light cyan pigment ink. First, I'm going to remove the fill hole plug from the top of the cartridge, which is a clear plug. I'm going to shake the ink bottle to make sure the pigment is in suspension and carefully open it. Next, using the syringe with blunt tip needle attached, I'm going to draw about 30 milliliters of ink into the syringe. And I'm going to remove the needle from the syringe. Then insert the tip of the syringe into the fill hole plug of the cartridge so it's nice and snug. And I'm going to pull up on the syringe plunger and release it, which creates a vacuum in the cartridge and that draws the ink inside. And tap it a couple times to dislodge the trapped air and pull it up again and release to make sure the cartridge is totally filled with ink. One more time. So the cartridge is filled with ink. I'm going to carefully remove the syringe. Reinsert the fill hole plug. This Epson R3000 has Cone Color Pro inks installed. As you can see, our carts accurately reflect the level of ink. Now I'm going to remove the light cyan cartridge and demonstrate refilling it with ink, resetting the chip, and after I reinstall the cartridge, you'll see the ink level has been reset to full. Now I'm going to refill a cartridge that read empty in the printer. I've removed the plastic wall from the cartridge so that the camera can easily see inside, but I don't want you to do this at home because it can easily destroy the cartridge. I'm Remove the fill hole plug, leaving the air vent hole open. Draw about 30 milliliters of ink into the syringe using the blunt tip needle. Then leaving the needle attached, insert it into the fill hole of the cartridge and gently push the syringe plunger down. until the cartridge is filled with ink. Then reinsert the fill hole plug. These cartridges have chip resetters built in behind the chip with the battery. To activate the reset, you want to touch these two points with a piece of metal, but make sure not to touch any of the other contacts on the chip. I'm using a pair of tweezers 
to short out these two points. You can also use a bent paper clip. Now I'm reinstalling the light cyan cartridge that has been refilled with ink and reset, closing the lid. The printer is reading the chips on all the cartridges and will read the light cyan cartridge as full again. Make sure to read the instructions thoroughly before beginning. And if you have questions or need any help, I can be reached through the Inkjet Mall technical support page. Happy printing!